if f of x equals 3x plus 2, g of x equals 2x squared, and h of x equals x minus 2, what is g of f of h? Negative 4. All right, so the technique here when we have g of f of h, what this is is a compos composite function, which means it's just multiple functions put together. This is the exact same thing as g of f of h of negative 4. You could also write it this way. There's three open parentheses, so I need three closed parentheses. These two things are congruent to one another. They're finding the same thing. So a technique here is uh, you could plug in a negative 4 to h, get an answer, plug it into f, plug that into g. I think the easiest way is to write them vertically. Start with your g, g's equation. I'm just going to put g like this. It's 2x squared. Underneath it, I'm going to write the next letter is f. I'm going to put f down, which is 3x plus 2. And underneath f, I'm going to put the h. And h's equation is x minus 2. And now I'm going to solve for negative 4. So I'm going to put the negative 4 down here below, and I'm going to insert it this way. So if I plug in a negative 4 there, I have, I'm going to looking for what is negative 4 minus 2. All right, so what am I looking for? I'm looking for negative 4 minus 2 more. That value is negative 6. So what do I take to do with negative 6? I take the negative 6, and I'm now going to insert it into this pre, the f equation at x location. So that's what I do with that there. So this would give me 3 times negative 6 plus 2. So that's negative 18, add 2, I get negative 16. So now what do I do with the negative 16? I take that and I plug it in right here. And so I'd have 2 times negative 16 squared. I'll go to my calculator, let's make sure we do this correctly. 2 times negative 16, and that value is squared. It's 512. And that should be my answer here, 512. Since that's my answer, I'll bubble it in right there. And we will be done with this problem. 5, 1, 2. Now, all I did was plug this in. Uh, you can continue on or you can be done. But if I wanted to continue on, I'll show you how you can do this in the calculator. In a second, it's just we're going to type the same equations in onto the graph. So if I come over here, I'm going to just add a new document real quick. By pressing Control doc I'm just added a page. I'm going to add a graph. And now you would type in your equations. Remember how the first equation was 2x squared? So my first equation here is 2x squared. The equation below it was 3x plus 2. So I come over here and I add 3x plus 2. And then my third equation uh, is h, which is x minus 2. And now, if I wanted to find f of g of h, which would mean the way I put them in, the f, I put them in order that they're supposed to be. This is my g, this is my f, this is my h. I want f1 and f2, f3. All I have to do here is f1, parentheses, f2, parentheses, f3, parentheses, and put an x there. I press enter. I'll give me the value. If you press control T to get a table, uh, we want to know what's the value when x is negative 4. I go to negative 4, and I go over to my equation that was uh, f1 of f2 of f3. You can see that's 512. So that's just multiple ways of doing the same thing.